Hey, this is Gavin Horning with End Stuff Music. Um, third time's the charm, as I'm going to look at the correct camera the entire time this time, so Chris can get off my back. But today we have the Marshall Astoria Classic, which is a really cool 30-watt single-channel tube combo amp. Um, it's in a really cool green and white Tolex finish. Um, this is a very clean Marshall amp, and it's also really stripped down, easy to use, plug in and play, and have a great sound. Um, it's really portable. It's a 1 by 12 combo, so it's easy to take to the gig. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see from looking up at the top, we have both high and low inputs. We have a master volume, a sensitivity knob, three band EQ, and finally an edge knob. And also, of course, we have a standby and on and off power switch. Um, let's just start with the master volume. I'm going to give you a little span sort of of what the volume is like on this amp. Um. So as you can tell, there's a lot of volume to be had on this amp. Um, it's great for recording, small clubs, those kind of venues, it'll be more than enough. Um, on to the sensitivity control, which is a bit of a different control on this amp. Essentially, what I hear the sensitivity knob do is add headroom, sort of into the tone of the amp. Um, the more you take it back, the less, um, less headroom in the amp. And as you crank it up, the more that you get, which is a really cool feature about this amp because it gives you options. Um, by winding down the headroom, you have more chance to use a pedal that's maybe got a little extra headroom and is going to punch the amp a little more. And by winding up the headroom, you have something that, if you have a pedal that's got maybe a more lasery kind of sound, it allows that to not get too muffled and too woofy, but open it up a little bit. So that's sort of what I hear sensitivity knob do. As you can hear, there's still the volume in the amp, but the headroom has just gone down a little bit more. The amp doesn't quite sound as open. But when I crank it up, you'll see the opposite. On to the EQ. to the middle. The bass. Finally, on this amp, we have an edge knob, which I hear is essentially it's a presence. So as you can see, this amp's really stripped down, really simple to use. Just plug in. The controls are very self-explanatory which is a great thing about this amp. Um, another uh, a highlight that I see of this amp is it's got a great clean foundation. So if you have any great pedals, some of your favorite stomp boxes, this amp is really going to highlight those. Today, I brought down the JHS Angry Charlie drive pedal. Um, it's, an, it's a really cool sound, especially kind of matches that 80s sort of British character and matches this amp really well. Um, something I'm going to do with the amp specifically as I have it set already, is I have the sensitivity knob wound up a little bit to add a little more headroom. Because like I said earlier, this pedal is, is really kind of a beam, laser beam sort of sound. So by having the sensitivity up, it's going to open up the pedal a little bit. So that way I can match them really well together, as you'll hear. Um, the EQ I have basically set at 12 o'clock. Um, the edge I've also got set about 12 o'clock. I'm actually going to wind the edge down a little bit. Um, it is good to try and match the sensitivity and the edge a little bit just to make sure 
um, depending on the guitar, as you see, I have a Telecaster now, but depending on the guitar, you want to be careful maybe if you have too much bass and too many lower mids wound into the mix or too many upper mids. And so just to control that a little bit, I'm going to take the edge down a little bit on this instrument. So cleans. <laughs> It's a really well-balanced clean channel uh, the good, that allows the guitar to sound really open. And um, I love having some of that sensitivity mixed into it because it just creates so much more headroom in the amp. Um, if I add the Angry Charlie in for a little overdrive. wind up a little more gain on the pedal itself. I'm going to wind the gain down extra low and sort of show you what it's like if I use the, poodle, the pedal to really um, slam the front end of the amp. That's easily one of my favorite sounds that you use in this amp is because you have a great clean channel. And by using a pedal to really slam the front end of the amp, you get that awesome classic Marshall -y, um sound, especially with a great guitar. Um, so now I'm going to switch over to a, I brought with me today, a Music Man Luke 3 model guitar, just so you can hear some humbuckers, hear how they react with the amp. So now I'm back with a Ernie Ball Music Man Luke 3 model guitar. Um, it's an awesome guitar, and you're going to get a great idea what this amp sounds like with some humbuckers. Um, right away to get a clean sound, since this does have high output humbuckers, I'm going to wind the master down just a little bit. I have it pretty well cranked, so the humbuckers are going to make it clip, and that's just not really what I'm going for at the moment. So with the master wound down a little bit, here's the clean of this guitar. Still has a really full sounding clean, um, exceptionally clean. Really doesn't break up much when you don't want it to. If I went for a jazzier kind of sound. Delivers really well for that even, which you wouldn't typically think of as a British sound, but it does a great job of it. With this guitar, I'm actually going to try reducing the sensitivity knob a little bit and adding a little bit of the presence, just so I can make um, the top end character of this guitar come out a little bit more. I'm going to reduce the bass a little bit, take out just a little bit of the mids, and increase some treble. And maybe give some more volume too. We'll see how that sounds. I'm using both humbuckers on the guitar. Mm -hmm. 
Really cool, clean sound. Um, I like that sound a lot, especially matched with this guitar. If I add the pedal in a little bit. Add a little more volume. There you have it. That's the Marshall Astoria Classic, a really cool guitar amp, all tube, 30 watts, um, very transportable. Another option on this amp that you have is for uh, three options for external speaker cabinets. You can have a 4-ohm cabinet, 8-ohm cabinet, 16-ohm cabinet. So if you want to take it to that big venue, you have that option too. Um, this is a great amp, and you can play one today at End Stuff Music. You can read the specs online, um, email us, you can chat with us online. Please come down to the store, and Chris is going to be happy that I looked at the correct camera the entire time. <laughs> so thank you very much for checking us out. I'm Gavin, and have a good one.